In the third episode of the Soft Electronics series for Modern Automatic Transmissions, we will present to you the structure and operation of the torque converter. We will find out how to prevent costly repairs as a result of untimely maintenance, improper repair, and low quality parts. We will follow up the process of restoring the torque converter to its factory quality. The torque converter is a fluid coupling between the engine and the transmission. It has several main functions. It increases the torque from the engine to the transmission when the vehicle is moving. When driving off, the torque is increased at most. It operates the oil pump in the gearbox. It helps neutralize fluctuations and vibrations from the engine to the transmission. It contributes for smooth gear changing. The transmission oil enters the torque converter through openings at certain points on the different shafts of the gearbox. It has three main functions. It participates in the hydraulic control of the torque converter by pressure regulated from the mechatronic. It provides the necessary lubrication of moving components. It transfers the generated heat from the torque converter to the cooling system. In modern torque converters, there are two modes of operation. In the torque converter mode, the connection between the transmission and the engine is made by pressure of the fluid flow. The way it works is as follows. The crankshaft in the engine transmits rotational motion to the torque converter. Driven by inertial forces, the fluid is directed to the outer part of the pump. From the form of the housing and the position of the blades, the fluid is then accelerated and guided into the turbine which makes it spin. From there, the fluid passes through the stator, changing its direction from the optimum angle to the pump blades and accelerates for a subsequent cycle. At lower speeds, when the fluid passes through the stator, it causes pressure at the front of the blades and forces the stator to move backward to the pump and the turbine. To prevent this movement, the one-way bearing does not allow rotation in this direction. As the speed increases, the fluid velocity increases and instead of causing pressure at the front of the stator blades, it begins to press the blades in the rear, forcing the stator to rotate in the direction of rotation of the torque converter. The bearing then releases the lockup and the stator starts to rotate in the direction of the pump and the turbine. The operation of the stator contributes significantly to the efficiency and increase of the torque of the torque converter. The maximum speed that the turbine can reach compared to that of the pump at high RPMs in torque converter mode is up to 90%. Upon reaching a certain speed and acceleration, the lockup mode of the torque converter is activated. The mechatronic controls the moment and smoothness of the lock and unlock, thus establishing a firm connection between the engine and transmission. In this mode, all components in the torque converter rotate at the same speed. The most common symptoms that may be a sign of a defect in the torque converter are the constant or periodic vibrations and noises that can be felt from the position of the gearbox. If the car starts off difficult, it may also be related to damaged mechanical components in the torque converter. In the specialized department of soft electronic can be performed diagnostics, maintenance, and repair of many types of torque converters. After a torque converter comes for repair, it is recorded in the soft electronics database with its part numbers and describes defect. A glycol test is performed. This is followed by an oil drainage done by a specialized machine. If the test is positive, all parts of the gearbox must be disassembled and checked as glycol has fatal effect on the friction elements. Depending on the model, tension and gaps are measured. This can give an initial idea of how worn out the components are. It is checked whether there is deviation in the balance and the axis of rotation. This is followed by a careful separation of the torque converter housings and cleaning of the welding areas. The disassembly of the torque converter continues. In the case of metal shavings, it's necessary to thoroughly check the automatic gearbox and find out the reason for their occurrence. Causes for a problem in the torque converter may be incorrect engagement of the friction mechanisms, imbalance of the torque converter housing or some of its components, damage or disassembly of some elements during operation. The malfunctioning of the lockup mechanisms may be due to normal wear. 
overheating, the entering of fluids which are not part of the transmission oil composition, or previous repair with low quality parts. Soft electronic technicians have seen torque converters where the clutch discs have been replaced with plastic ones after a previous repair. Deviation from the axis of rotation or imbalance can happen by previous incorrect welding, incorrect dismantling or installation, as well as by incorrect transportation. Vibration and improper mounting can detach the carrier plates from the torque converter housing, which can result in serious damage. There are also cases where due to untimely or poor repair, the damper can be disassembled and the gearbox may be blocked. Under such conditions, a turbine blade or the pump may break, which begins to circulate freely in the fluid flow. This can seriously damage the components of the torque converter. If there's a problem with the one-way stator bearing, this can have a serious negative effect on the flow control between the pump and the turbine. The Soft Electronics team only supplies original parts from world-renowned manufacturers. After the necessary components have been replaced, the torque converter is assembled and the two parts of the housing are welded. This is followed by cleaning of the housing with a sandblasting machine. Finally, a measurement of the deviation from the axis of rotation and balance is made and, depending on the model, clearance and tension are checked. If all the measurements match the reference values, the torque converter is marked and the results are recorded in the soft electronics database. The rebuilt torque converter can be reassembled to the automatic gearbox or sent to the customer with the corresponding warranty card. For more information, please visit our webpage softelectronic.com or contact the automatic gearbox department of the phones listed.